question is, why is the quote the most important thing a man or a father can do for his children is to love their mother? Now, before some of y'all lose your damn minds, especially the men, let me say this first. I'm talking about mainly the guys who are in relationships right now with their children's mother. Uh, I don't understand the hate. I really don't. I can understand being hurt, and I can, I can understand the initial pain and the sting, and, and maybe even some hate initially. But man, after that thing, you know, uh, after you've been going for a minute, and you know, you're in this relationship, if you're going to stick it out, you're going to be in it, man, be in it, and it's incumbent upon each person that they treat the other with a lot of respect and dignity and love because what we're doing is we're raising human beings and we're teaching human beings how to behave, how to interact with other human beings. It is very important that we learn to love. Now, some man going to be quick to say, Willie D, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, man, you're wrong. The most important thing for a father is, is to love his children, not, not the mother. This is what I, I cannot understand. How can you love your children but hate the woman who brought them into the world? Now, I know we all get our feelings hurt and all that kind of stuff. But how can you hate the person who gave your children life, these children that you say you love so much? Uh, like I said, I can understand some initial pain, somebody do you dirty and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, maturity, that, that getting over that thing, that it comes with maturity. Remember, you're raising children, you're raising human beings. Now, it's like the author, you know, when I was, I actually came across this, this article in a, in a, uh, on a site called Mother Natural. Yeah. And so the author was saying that, you know, hey man, you know, yeah, it goes without saying that you love your children. That's automatic. But the relationship that you have with their mother comes first. Now, this is a hard pill for a lot of people to swallow because I know a number of people who say, oh, no, my children come first. My children, my children, my children come first. I ain't nobody coming before my children. See, that's a fundamental mistake in many of you who follow the Bible. And I ain't trying to be no Bible pusher, but I am going to call you on your mess. A lot of y'all read that Bible and you live by that Bible but you don't live by the words because that Bible saying two shall become one so that means that when we get together we become a union it's us against the world it's us first because you have to you have to come together as a couple first to teach the kids how to love in the first place you know you got to See, and what happens is that when, when daddy loves mama and daddy's showing respect and love toward mama, it makes the son respect the women that he's going to have in his life. It shows the son how to love a woman. And it shows the daughter what she should expect from a man. It gives, it's, 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 the daddy is giving, laying out the manuscript. So he's showing her how to love, how she should be loved. You ever notice how oftentimes uh, girls who get in abusive relationships, their fathers were abusive to their mothers? They learned that. That's what they were taught. 
So they thought it was okay. They thought that, oh, if he hit me, that means he loved me. Uh, uh, contrarily, you have women who get in loving relationships because that's what they saw. They get into relationships with men who are loving, who are affectionate, who are not domineering because that's what they saw their daddy do with their mother. Their daddy taught them how they should be tre treated by the way he treated their mother. You see what I'm saying? Now, again, you got people that say, my kids come first. Well, again, you're wrong. Your kids can come first, but I can guarantee you're going to have a bunch of problems with that. A whole bunch of problems. Because fundamentally, a house divided cannot stand. You ever had situations where mama tell the kids they can do one thing and then daddy say something else? Or uh, daddy say you can't play football and then daddy go to work and mama been letting the son go out and play football. He been playing football. He didn't play the whole season and daddy ain't know nothing about it because daddy worked the night shift. Or uh, daughter playing volleyball. Daddy don't know nothing about it. But mama let him do it, let her do it. A house divided cannot stand. And the way uh, people parent oftentimes is a huge bone of contention in relationships. You got to be on the same page with these kids when you're raising kids. You got to be on the same page. If you're not on the same page, they are going to exploit that weakness. And they're going to take advantage of both of you. And I know the one who is the, the parent that's the most lenient think that they love them more and all that stuff. They don't love you more. They like the fact that they can use you more. And they can kick you around. They can push you around and get their way. It's very counterproductive to do the opposite of what your spouse uh, agrees to do or, or that take the actions, take the opposite actions of your spouse. You must be on the same page at all times. You know, the dictionary defines the word love as a strong affection for another arising out of kinship or personal ties. Kinship and personal ties don't get any closer than having children together. It just don't. We're not talking about feelings right here. Right here, we're talking about action. We're talking about an action. Now, for you parents out there who, you fathers out there who are not still with your children's mother, you can still have love for her even though you're not together. It's not a feeling. It's an action. So, you don't have to be in love with their mother, to have love for their mother. Again, this is the woman who gave you these babies that you cherish so much. I know it's, it's that time, you got that time, that interim time where everything is in shambles and you mad, you pissed off, and you just, you know, you want to be distant. You don't want nothing to do with it. I get that. Been there, done that. But at some point, maturity has to kick in. And if you're a grown-ass man, you know, you're going to allow yourself to go through the process and heal and get past it and move on so that you can continue to raise these babies the right way. Because at the end of the day, it's bigger than you. Most of us, when we get in these relationships and they go bad, we make it all about us. Oh, poor me. She did me wrong. He did me wrong. Me, 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 me. It's not about you. You are raising human beings. You are teaching them how to react, how to interact with human beings. And if you send them out into that world ill-equipped, you are not going to like the results. I can guarantee you. Now, of course, 
it goes both ways. You know, the most important uh, thing that a mother can do for her children is to love their father. Again, this is the man that helped you procreate, that gave your children life. You know, it don't make sense that they would love somebody so much that you would hate somebody that they love so much. That doesn't make sense. That's like being in the same household, living in the same household, and one person voting Democrat and the other person voting Republican. That is the most silliest, ignorant, asinine shit I ever heard of. You cannot, it doesn't make sense. You can, but it does not make sense to not find some kind of way to bring yourself to regain love if you lost it, ever lost it, for the person that helped you bring life into the world. You got to think, a lot of us, we just like to focus on all the bad things that the person did, all the bad things in a relationship. Well, it couldn't have been that bad you had you laid up and had children together. It must have been a lot of good days in between. See, I'm one of the kind of persons, I'm, I'm the type of person that take my bitter with my sweet. In any situation, I know how to take my bitter with my sweet. Some of us can't do that. We just want the sweetness. And when it get bitter, we know our worlds fall apart. I know how to take the bitter and grow from the bitter so that I can become a better man. So that's my goal every day in life is to be a better version of myself. Every day I wake up, I just try to be a better me than I was the day before. That's what I do. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. You know, you can't say that this woman, and I, I'm speaking from a man's standpoint because I'm a man, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not speaking for all men, but I can tell you, you know, just from experience and talking to the many guys that I've talked to, the many men that I've talked to over the years and friends that I have and the relationships that they've been in, I can tell you 100% unequivocally that if you don't figure out a way to learn at the minimum to respect the person who helped you bring your children into the world, you are going to have a lot of dark days. And I know some of you so damn vindictive that you just want some payback and you want to see them suffer. But what you're going to do is find yourself suffering. At the end of the day, it is impossible to get pleasure from seeing the person who helped you bring life into the world have bad days. Look, man, if you appreciate the videos that I bring to you, you find value in them, join the movement. Go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Willie D Live. Join the movement. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.